What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Sony's latest acquisition in Fire Sprite Studios, and hopefully there's no other way of saying it, and I'm pronouncing it perfectly, but no, this is a big deal, and uh, this is not what I thought uh, we would wake up to, but this is what happened, and th I saw somebody say, this is a, uh, like, that's an odd way of spelling Blue Point, and it's like, yeah, that's a good one, and then maybe they announce Blue Point tomorrow, maybe they announce Blue Point over the next several weeks. I think it's honestly just a matter of time until that happens, like, the shoe drops you know what i mean so it's exciting you know uh, microsoft does this and we get excited or at least uh, at least sometimes people do or some people do um in general uh you know obviously monopolies aren't the greatest things in the world but no this is a good thing to get into sony studios this is a team that has worked on playstation stuff in the past and this is a big team um there's a lot of confusion at least in my head and you guys can definitely you know let me know in the comments of like what they're going to be doing and like what's going on because there's a lot of like reading into job listings that are very like some are contradictory or i've seen people kind of come up with like three or four different options even though there's no way they're working on that many you know what i mean so it, everything's a little messy but this is a big team 250 people work here um and this is bigger than i believe media both of sony's other studios that are over there right combined which uh, is a thing uh, like the stat the stat that is uh kind of floating around so this is a massive team and they are a team that for sure is working on at least two games um now one of the first things i saw is that one of them could be like a triple a almost like a choose your own adventure like you pick dialogue kind of stuff which i think would be awesome uh for like a sony exclusive kind of thing now you could say, well, like Horizon, stuff like that. I mean, you do get to choose things, but not, I mean, you know what I mean? Like this would be, I don't know, like a bigger size Telltale thing. That would be cool. There's, I think, probably a, a, an absolute guarantee that they are working on a VR game, right? Because that's kind of what they do. And uh, I believe if you read into their job, you know postings or listings over the last little while it's like it's based off of a like a, a brand that's been established before uh, like a huge brand so you know the first thing that comes to mind i guess would be like kill zone or even like resistance or even maybe uncharted if you want to go more like a third person kind of thing um you know obviously there's like the idea of it being almost a multiplayer only thing so maybe a shoot maybe like an online shooter but that's vr that's only you know that, that's a multiplayer thing so i don't know i mean again that's kind of where i get confused because different people are saying like different possibilities but they can't all be true you know what i mean because if there's like four or five options only like two of them are probably happening but again i, I, I think the biggest thing to kind of come out with it is not only is it a Sony acquisition, right, for people that have been begging them to do it. And, you know, they have Housemark now, and I think, you know, obviously Blue Point is probably, I don't know if I would go so far to say, like, it's already theirs and they're just hiding it. But I do, it, whether or not that's the case, I think it's going to happen no matter what. But what I find interesting, and, and, you know, I don't think I'm the only one saying it, but it's definitely been kind of a point I've said to kind of the PlayStation people out there is like, you know, again, this is not a shocker, right? PlayStation, no matter where you stand in the console wars, and I hate the console wars anyway, PlayStation cannot compete with Microsoft buying the like what they're doing. You know what I mean? Sony cannot drop seven billion. Maybe I mean maybe they could, but it would take a lot. It is tech. It is you know actually possible, and they could even take loans or sell. I mean it's possible, but the odds of them dropping. You know, more than I would even say a billion dollars on anything is very, very unlikely. You know what I mean? So they cannot compete with that. But what they do have is our is studios already that have a lot of talent. And I think their plan that uh, you know Jim Ryan has said before, and and a lot of other people inside Sony has said before, is the goal is basically to expand what you already have, which. You know, people may call me a Sony fanboy because of this. I do think that is a better idea just from, like, I don't know, even my own personal life. If you have a group of, like, good people, right, the best thing to do is probably, like, like grow them, nurture them, and expand from there. When you And I'm not saying, like, buying things is not a good idea. Like, Microsoft, it's going to pay off in the next two to three years when they just have game after game after game coming. But you're buying people that... I, you know that kind of sounds wrong but you're you know you're buying studios with these people that you don't have that connection with you know to start you didn't you didn't literally start them from scratch now i guess you could say sony's technically doing that with this studio right because they're not starting them from scratch but there it's basically a two studio team that's kind of the biggest thing i was trying to get at is it seems like sony wants to make every studio they have double Okay, not not buy another 12, 13, 14 studios. They can't do that. But to make the studios that they have 
Naughty Dog, work on two things. Now, now all of a sudden, you know, it's not one. T- it's not, you know, it's not just Naughty Dog. You don't just get one game. It's not like just saying, oh, they have 13 studios. Well, now you technically have 14 because Naughty Dog counts twice. Sucker Punch, can you do two things at once? Probably you can. Insomniac, we know they do two things at once, maybe three things. You know what I mean? So, and, and I think they want all of their stu- uh, Sony Santa Monica is doing two things right now. So actually, you look at it, all of their really big studios, probably those top you know, three or four, right, that I just mentioned. They're all working on at least two things, which is how I would probably try to do it. So that's how I look at this. You know I mean? Whether we get a established Sony franchise that comes to life in a VR game, which is not going to please everybody because, you know, you could say, oh, you bought the studio just to do that. I mean, if it's to kind of nurture a, a, a VR, you know, ecosystem with Sony, that's the way they want it. You know what I mean? I mean, they're going to need studios to make multiplayer stuff. That's a lot of the, not acquisitions, but the partnerships they've made with some of these random studios that have kind of just been born from industry veterans. Sony says, hey, make your game exclusive to us. Here's the money. And Sony's done that with like three or four of them. And a lot of them are working on multiplayer stuff. So, you know, they're not going to please everybody. It's not like we're getting AAA, single-player you know, action adventure games, let's say, you know, it's very specific. No, they're doing some things to go multiplayer. They're doing some things for VR, very VR mindset. Although again, one of the games it seems like they were making may not be a, a VR game. You know what I mean? So I like it. I, I, you know, again, I don't like, I'll say it for Sony, same as I say it for Microsoft. I don't like every studio on planet earth being bought by these companies. Uh, I think it's more apparent with Microsoft when you do buy like a Bethesda that's got like you know seven, eight, nine teams in them. It's a, it's a little bit more of like a like a, a punch, like a really big you know impact all at once. Um, you know they do what they're gonna do. I, I'm not saying like I'm anti them, but I, like, you know I mean it's kind of in the middle. I know why they're doing it. I understand why they're doing it. I get like the economics and even the kind of the battles they're facing against competition and stuff. I don't love a world though, which is what we're gonna get in the next ten or so years when every studio is owned by you know there's no indie space well, actually there will be it actually will foster which is going to be cool right because we were, we've gone through all of these ebbs and flows in the gaming industry i know this is way off topic but i think it's interesting basically this is going to foster a lot of the thq nordiques like that kind of thing that's going to happen i would say a lot more where you're going to have these big studios sony microsoft ea you know stuff like that they're going to own a lot of the big guns you're gonna have a lot of the middle ones probably get bought up by you know like the middle tier publishers right like a thq let's say and then you're gonna have your small indie games and um you know and and the indies kind of go through ebbs and flows themselves but i think they could really prosper too so it's gonna be interesting i don't love that world because pretty much everybody is owned and uh, i do like kind of the freedom of of companies but you know you know sony buying one team right here is not the end of the world for uh, for that kind of mindset you know what i mean so it is exciting i can't wait to see what they do Obviously, they're going to help VR, PS VR 2, or whatever they're going to end up calling it. And we may get a game that's not VR related at all. And, you know, you buy them in the middle of, you know, like it's not like, in fact, the way they're talking does make it seem like they're not far off from showing stuff. You know what I mean? It's not like you bought them and said, okay, cancel all projects. You know what I mean? You're going to start from scratch and here we go and we'll see you again in three to four years. No, they could be, They. I, it seems like they've been working on stuff for quite a while and it just so happens, you know, maybe they were working with Sony previously and Sony's like, all right, we'll just buy you. And now, now you're going to, you know, like nothing really changes much, right? And so we may get these games a lot sooner than we're going to get games from like that Haven Studios, right? I mean, some of these games are going to be three, four years away, even though they're announcing them now. It's a long time away. For this one, I, I don't think we're going to have to wait that long. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. If you guys want to follow me on any of my other social media, I do have a Twitter, I do have a second channel, and I also have Patreon and YouTube memberships. If you guys want to support us in any of those places, links for them all are in the description below. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you all on the next video.